Last year, the La Rochelle Girls High School in Paul awarded a scholarship to a young woman born in the town of Darling. She'd been winning long jump, hurdles and netball titles since primary school, but never had access to what a top athletic school could do for her. Then, Mariana Skuman got involved. As a school, you must be so proud of Giselle. How did you discover her? We met her at the athletics meeting in Malmesbury at the end of 2013. And she came to look for me being the netball teacher, because she loves playing netball as well. And then I invited her to come to our school. And a week later, she came for an interview with her parents. And at the beginning of 2014, she joined us here at La Rochelle in Paul. We are very, very proud of her. And she brought a total new dimension to the school's athletics. I believe she's not only good at sport, but quite academic as well. Yes, she has to work very hard at the academics to finish a matric this year. She misses out a lot of classes if she goes for the international competitions. And then if she comes back uh, with the help of the teachers, she must catch up her schoolwork. Before a race, Giselle puts her phone away and asks friends not to disturb her. But this wasn't the eve of a race. Oh goodness, what a surprise. Do you guys see this every time somebody greets you? Yes. You also say yes together? No. <laughs> I've heard so much about you, Giselle. It must be quite overwhelming to have achieved what you have at such a young age. Yeah, I mean, you're 17. You have to be an example for the younger kids. And just being one of those examples, it's, it means so much to me, actually. Take me through when you won the gold medal at the Youth Olympics. OK. <laughs> you get when, so excited. Yes. Right? I mean, it's my first. Look, yeah, I'm starting shivering. But anyway, while I was running, the only thought that went through my mind was, I've trained so hard throughout this whole year. Why would I mess it up now? Yeah. So when I crossed the line, then I looked at the time, and then it was like a 57.87, 57.9. I was so overwhelmed because I broke my own record according to times. Wow. So I mean, if you work hard and you accomplish stuff like that, it just means the world to you. Weren't you intimidated by your competitors? Actually I was, because I mean, if you run against people like the Jamaicans <laughs> and Usain Bolt is in Jamaica, so <laughs> yeah. Coached on technique, fitness and diet, Giselle blossomed. In the Youth Olympics final, she was coming seventh into the home straight. Then the afterburners kicked in and she won. Coach Mana van der Berg had seen that potential. Coach, how did you discover this beautiful talent? They found her as a netball player. And I saw but this little girlie, she's got speed and she's got suppleness. And she could also do the hurdles, but it wasn't that fine. So we fine-tuned it a bit. And she excelled from there. She must have exceeded your wildest expectations. Yes. From the one meeting, uh, she improved about two seconds to the next meeting. And then they chose her for this team that went to Botswana, the African Youth Championships, and she won it there, even improved again on the time. And then she was chosen for the South African team that went to China. And she won it. Since I have a world champ with me, you have to teach me how to hurdle. Well, I'll give my coach to you for the day. <laughs> I'll tell you what to do and see if she can demonstrate it. Well, that'd be fine with you. Sounds like an idea. But I think you've got to take off those high heels. How does the barefoot hurdler sound? Yeah, that'll be better. That'll be better. Giselle enjoys fashion as much as Lorna, but there's a time and place for it. Yeah. Now, we're first going to do it. You walk like a soldier. Okay. And then just walk over it. Use your arms and step with first. Giselle will show you. I'll let the professional do it. Wow. See, yeah. Use your arms. I don't have to Bend long. your arms. Legs. Oh. But the ballet training helps. So I can be like, just take it. Oh, That's it. Yeah, no, but it's not, it, this is not ballet. I know. I know. You must okay. have a flexed foot, not a pointed flexed foot. Yeah, okay. flexed, flexed foot. Flexed foot. The second step is you do it with skipping. Okay. Giselle can show you quickly how the skipping works. She has such long legs. Okay. Don't, no pointing. Don't point your feet. Point, point, point. <laughs> Lona, I'm quite impressed. That was very good. Thank if you, you keep on like this, you'll be doing it like Giselle. I'm not quite sure. She is Way so quick. quick. I'm going to try. Watch this. <laughs> careful, careful, flex the point, flex the point, flex the point. That, does, Lona. <laughs> that looked like a karate move, like something like this. Definitely not like what she just did. <laughs> This Olympic gazelle is the eldest of Jan and Janine Philander's three children. 
Although they live 150 kilometers away in Friedenburg, they make it to every event they can. Did you know she was from a young age that she was going to be a success? Yeah. <laughs> As parents, you always believe yeah. in, your, in, your, in your kids. I mean, um, she, she's been from grade one. I remember when we um, came to the school. To the, the primary school. Yeah. She was like the, the quickest uh, grade one <laughs> on the, the practice field. <laughs> so from, from that side, on, we, we thought of um, uh, knew that there was yeah. something special in her. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hello. Well, <laughs> Hello. She has a ball of energy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are your parents behaved supporters or are they loud and sometimes embarrassing? No, they're loud and embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, at the same time. <laughs> and they're proud of it. <laughs> yes. Obviously. Well, I mean, uh, how can you stay uh, sort of calm and be mm. quiet if, if you got a gold medalist? Uh, I mean, a world champion. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> I would also be loud and embarrassing. <laughs> well, it's clear that Giselle works really hard on the track. She works really hard at school. So I think today she deserves just a little bit of a break. So I'm going to steal her and spoil her a little bit. Okay. I hope you guys don't mind. No, no Are you fine. ready for some girl fun? Yeah. High five. Let's go. <laughs> Unlike the massive demands of a 400-meter sprint, in this sport, the machine does the work. This is also, since you work so hard, you're a jet setter and you've made South Africa really proud. I wanted to treat you to a surprise. Have you ever been on a jet -ivator? I have no idea what you're talking about. Neither do I, but let's find out. <laughs> Giselle strength trains by pulling car tires behind her. So whatever the demands of this device, chances were she could handle it. Pierre, what is a jet -ivator? It's a fun new extreme sport in South Africa. Basically, I'm going to be on the jet ski, you're going to be on the jet -ivator. Water is going to thrust out of it and you're literally going to fly out of the water. With the future this young champion has ahead of her, we were sure to take all necessary safety precautions. So knees in the knee pads, this is your control. You're going to go straight up, you're going to go up in the air, it's going to be your own little rocket, you're going to play, you're going to go in the water, out of the water, you're just going to have fun. The jet ski motor transfers its power to the jetovator via a hose, thrusting water down via two nozzles and launching you skyward. That's the idea anyway. Just as she'd beaten the favorite German runner in the Youth Olympic heats, Giselle soon had this task by the scruff of the neck, mostly. was one of the most thrilling things I've ever done. What was it like for you? Well, it's pretty exciting. I mean, if you're up in the air and it's like your own space rocket, you're quite competitive. Well, if you want to be an athlete, you need to be competitive. And between the two of us, I think I need to receive that gold medal for the Jet Vader. I'll give you that. What's next for you? Well, I'm aiming to become the gold medalist in 2020 for the World Olympic Games. Well, we wish you all the best and good luck. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha.